Hi, this is Ninja Prepper moment number seven. We thought we would show you another way to cook in an emergency or even for camping, and it's solar. I have a couple different uh, styles here, but there are quite a few out on the market. I just wanted to quickly go over the pros and the cons of cooking with solar. The pros are you need no fuel. You don't need to store fuel, which is wonderful. Um, it's free energy. You don't have to pay for anything. Solar is easy to use. The great thing is it works in winter. It works in the snow as easily as it works in, in the heat. It just doesn't matter. Um, and the wonderful thing about it too is the food doesn't burn. The, it just has the air all the way around it and it's even cooking and also moist cooking. And food turns out delicious in solar. The cons are, one, you must have sun. And that is why it's so important to always in your emergency prep to have at least two, maybe three different ways to cook so that if one way doesn't work out, you can easily do another. In this case, as today I was going to cook for you, but we woke up to cloud, which is unusual, usually for sunny Utah, but then I would be able to quickly just start cooking them with uh, cast iron, with briquettes. So um, another con is, is solar is more expensive, but once you get them, they last many, many years. And again, you have no fuel to buy, so that is a savings over time. Um, another con is it does take a little more time to cook in a solar to get it uh, your food finished compared to an oven, but um, I consider it uh, like a high power on the crock pot. Although with baked goods, they only take maybe 10 or 15 minutes longer usually. So that is one thing, but it's not a big deal either. Also with with the sun cooking, you do need to change the angle about every 30 minutes or so to make sure you get the optimum angle, which again is, is not a big deal, but that is something you need to keep in mind. With solar, you can bake, boil, and steam in them. You can also, which is so important, purify your water. It gets hot enough that you can do that, whereas with charcoal briquettes, they usually won't get that high of a heat for you. So these two styles, this is American Sun Oven, and I can just put it up quickly for you to see how it works. It's quick. You just open the lid and you put your food inside, close the lid, and it begins to cook for you. And it has a leg on the back and that is how you change the angle to get the best optimum level. The other one we have is called the Go Grill. It's a Go Sun Grill, and this is wonderful. These are the reflectors. They just close up when you want to store it away. But the food is right in here on this slide out tray. And I did have here for you to see is I, I cut up a butternut squash, and we have chicken. You could even, if you have a bigger family, just take this off, put all the chicken in there. So this serves four to six people, and that seven oven also does large amounts of food too. You can do a turkey in it if you wanted. Uh, this company, uh, Ghost Sun, also does a smaller one for one to two people. Easy to take camping type too. So there are a lot out there. There are other ones. Um, you know, around $100 or so. These are more expensive. This typically about $350, this about $100 more than that. But they do last a long time, and it's wonderful if you do not have fuel stored on sunny days as a way to cook food and keep yourself going healthy in an emergency. Bye-bye.